Right now at 5, police have identified the man found dead in Jackson County. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kozlowski. Authorities begin a death investigation after finding the body of a man on the side of a road. The sheriff identified the person as 35-year-old Mitchell Norman Link from Toma. According to a release from Jackson County Sheriff Dwayne Waldera, dispatch got a call from someone yesterday afternoon saying they saw a possible body lying along a rural road in the town of Alma just outside of Maryland. Officers found the person dead once they got there, but couldn't determine a possible cause of death. The sheriff is asking anyone who has information about Link's death or his whereabouts yesterday to contact authorities or submit a tip to the Jackson County Crime Stoppers. The sheriff says the information they have right now leads them to believe this is isolated and that there is no threat to the public. And a death investigation begins in Trempolo County after the sheriff's office there says a man died of an accidental gunshot wound. According to a release, dispatch got a call right after 7 this morning from a 22-year-old man who had been shot in a parking lot of a business on Klein Lane. Deputies and officers got to the man first and started helping the victim before an ambulance and helicopter arrived, but the man died at the scene. The sheriff's office says the investigation so far shows this was an accident and that there's no danger to the public, but that investigation is ongoing. And a mass search is being organized for a missing Winona woman. Madeline Kingsbury has been missing since the morning of March 31st. The Winona County Sheriff's Office, as well as Winona Police and the Fillmore County Sheriff's Office, are asking for volunteers to look for Kingsbury tomorrow. There will be two locations to report to, Winona County Goodview Fire Department or Rushford Peterson High School. There will be two four-hour searches starting at 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Volunteers must be over 18 and able to walk in rough terrain and for long distances. We have more information about that search on news8000.com. The La Crosse County Sheriff's Office is putting in an effort to make our roadways safer. Officials have started a 30-day crash and speed reduction initiative. You may see a larger police presence on highways 53 and 16 past Valley View Mall and West Salem. La Crosse County Sheriff says not to worry. Deputies are not searching for people to ticket. This initiative is about establishing a police presence to remind drivers to stay safe. The purpose of this initiative is presence and deterrence and to educate people on speeding, reckless driving, and the fact that we are coming into summer where we have more bicycles on the road, motorcycles, um, people walking. The Sheriff's Office is still planning out the initiative. We will keep you posted with more details as they come along. In the meantime, it's time to switch things up and talk some weather with our first warned meteorologist, Eric Dean. Good evening, Ken. Good evening, everybody. Hey, wow, what is, it was just gorgeous today. Sunglasses were needed, abundant sunshine was the rule. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s we're seeing a temperature of 48 degrees outside at the airport. 46 is the current temperature uh, at the station. That humidity, it's sitting at 27% with winds out of the west northwest at 16 miles per hour. Other temperatures across the area, 40s from Winona to Preston. Decorah's at 45. Prairie to Sheen and Boscobel, upper 40s, even low 50s for you guys. For Oakwell, good evening to you guys. You're at 47, 45 is the current temperature in Volk Field. And we're substantially warmer as compared to this time yesterday. 9 degrees warmer in La Crosse, 10 degrees warmer in Preston, 6 degrees warmer in Eau Claire, 9 degrees warmer in Sparta, 7 degrees warmer in Boscobel. So we take a look at the next several hours. We'll see temperatures going into the mid to upper 30s as we go into the 8 o'clock hour. Uh, by 10 o'clock, we'll see that temperature of 35 and then upper 20s, low 30s for the overnight hours. We have a clean sweep on the radar scan right now, but Ken, coming up in the first warm forecast, we're going to talk about the following things. The flooding concern mm. uh, on the Mississippi, and then we're going to talk about sunglasses remaining and Damn. hello 70s. All right, I like the sound of yep. those two. Me too. All right, Eric, thanks very much. You bet. Back on the news side of things this evening, 11 Wisconsin school districts in our La Crosse and Eau Claire regions put some kind of school referendum on the April ballot. Eight out of 11 passed on Tuesday's election. Westby and Altoona's referenda failed by a very slim margin, but Arcadia's referendum swiftly rejected. 65% voted no. Arcadia schools had asked voters to approve a $750,000 referendum for three years for building maintenance, retaining staff, and replacing old buses. Superintendent Lance Bagstad said the district held informational sessions every Monday night throughout the month of March, and that turnout was low. He says they used email, social media, and a page on the district's website to detail how the referendum passing would actually lower district voters' property taxes. And it would have actually reduced the taxes on a $150,000 home by $362 from this year into next year. And then after that, it would have reduced it even more. 
Uh, he says economic uncertainty, inflation, and the fact that fair market property values came out last year and raised everyone's property taxes may have influenced voters to vote no, especially if they hadn't seen the district's information. Now, Bagstad says his budgeting pencil has to be very sharp, and since the next state budget is not finalized yet, he has to assume the district isn't getting any additional help from the state. And that means making difficult decisions between now and the fall, including a hard look at staffing, which makes up 85% of the district's budget. We're li likely looking at uh, not rehiring staff that uh, staff positions where we've had retirements or resignations. It could mean larger class sizes. It could mean limiting opportunities. For example, instead of having three levels of a particular sport, we might have to cut down to two levels of, of a particular sport. It might mean, do we have to reduce the number of contests that our high school sports teams play so that we can save locally on officials and workers and also save on cost for busing kids. Bagstad hopes the state legislature realizes that increasing public education funding is, quote, an investment into the future of our communities. If Arcadia wanted to try another referendum, the earliest they could do so would be next spring election. The La Crosse County Board Supervisor for District 1 has resigned. The chair of the county board is now looking to fill Pelly Lee's vacancy as soon as possible. Qualified candidates can submit letters of interest by April 14th at 4.30 p.m. To qualify, you must be at least 18 years old and live in or plan to live in District 1 of La Crosse County, which covers most of French Island. The selected candidate will finish Lee's term and is expected to be sworn in on Monday, May 8th. Downtown Main Street is focusing on the future of La Crosse. The organization hopes to make parking a win-win situation for both downtown businesses and the city. They've been planning a parking benefit district with the city. Funds collected from parking fees would go to snow removal, sidewalk repairs, and other ways to beautify store exteriors. The planning process may take years, but the former executive director of downtown Main Street, Terry Bauer, says he's hopeful his organization and the city can find a solution over time. We need to do what we can do in a positive way to bring a solution to the table that again works for everybody. Bauer says that plan might not come to fruition for another 15 or so years. Republican lawmakers in Tennessee are poised to expel three Democratic lawmakers from the House of Representatives in the state. They had accused the Democrats of disorderly conduct after they led chants from the House floor with gun control protesters days after the deadly school shooting in Nashville. Skylar Henry has more. With their arms raised, Democratic representatives Justin Pearson, Gloria Johnson, and Justin Jones walked through a sea of supporters at the Tennessee State House. The Republican supermajority is preparing to vote to expel the three Democrats for leading a gun control protest on the House floor, just days after the deadly Nashville school shooting. You, Representative Johnson, Representative Pearson, then began from the well shouting without recognition. Is that correct? We began shouting after repeatedly being not denied recognition. The session began with Republicans introducing bills to address gun violence in schools, including adding armed officers to all schools. We will pay for them with state dollars so that no community throughout this state has any excuse not to have armed security that is well trained. The debate allowed the three Democrats to speak about the absence of gun control legislation. Nowhere in this bill do I hear the word or do I see the word guns. Representative Johnson is a former teacher who experienced a school shooting in 2008. I just want to make sure that we're actually doing something different that's a solution because I don't feel that with this piece of legislation. The chamber gallery was filled with protesters holding signs. Outside, hundreds of students, teachers and parents protested the expulsions. All of Tennessee deserves representation, even the people you don't agree with. Tennessee House rules allow for the appointment of interim representatives until the seats are filled in a special election. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. Expulsions are very rare, both in Tennessee and in state legislative bodies across the country. Only two other House members have ever been booted from the Tennessee chamber since the Civil War. Just ahead tonight, key testimony could be on the way in another criminal case centered on former President Trump. Mike Pence has changed his mind about fighting a subpoena. All the best mattresses are under one roof at PM Sleep Center. Tempur-Pedic, Beautyrest Black, Stearns & Foster, Sealy Posturepedic, and Serta Eye Comfort. Your best night's sleep starts at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 30 years. 
Get 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Upgrade any space and maximize storage with great closet systems from Dakota Closets. Make your storage your own with our selection of custom sizes and styles to match your specific needs. Dakota Closets are easy to set up and are great for hanging clothes and storing accessories in any room of your house. A white wooden Dakota Closet System is $359.99 after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Meet a doctor who connects all the dots. Oftentimes, people with low back pain, knee pain, or hip pain don't even recognize that it's actually coming from their feet. Their feet? For real? Absolutely, 100%. It can have a domino effect because their foot and their ankle aren't supported properly. Their whole body is out of whack. Getting back into whack? Good feet arch supports could help. Keeping your body in good alignment, that can go a long way. Come in for your free fitting at the Good Feet store. There are so many things we take for granted, and along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living, and through no fault of their own, they're being left behind? If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. American craftsmanship. It's getting harder to find and even harder to experience as the focal point of your home. But not with Vermont Castings. Our stoves and inserts are hand-built with you in mind. No detail is too small, no element insignificant. The result? Timeless furniture quality beauty that delivers efficient heat to your home. Handcrafted to set your living space apart in style and in comfort. Come into warming trends. All the best mattresses are under one roof at PM Sleep Center. Tempur-Pedic, Beautyrest Black, Stearns & Foster, Sealy Posturepedic, and Serta Eye Comfort. Your best night's sleep starts at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 30 years. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Former Vice President Mike Pence has changed his mind and will no longer fight a subpoena to testify about what happened on January 6th and the days leading up to the insurrection. Nicole D'Antonio has more details from Capitol Hill. Former Vice President Mike Pence has decided he will testify about the events surrounding January 6th. I obviously have nothing to hide. On a legal scale, uh, this is an earthquake and not a small earthquake. Special Counsel Jack Smith is investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol and former President Donald Trump's attempts to overturn the election. There may not be a more critical witness for the special counsel and potentially against former President Trump than the vice president himself. Pence's decision to testify comes after a judge ruled several of Trump's former top aides must testify, including former chief of staff Mark Meadows. I think the American people deserve the whole story. Special Counsel Smith's federal investigations extend well beyond the attack on the U.S. Capitol. He's also tasked with getting to the bottom of former President Trump's handling of classified material. The boxes hoax, you know, the boxes hoax. Sources tell CBS News that many staffers at Mar-a-Lago and Trump aides have testified about whether Trump obstructed the government's efforts to secure the documents. Trump insists he did nothing wrong. We were negotiating in very good faith proper way in order to return some or all of the documents that I openly and in very plain sight brought with me to Mar-a-Lago from our beautiful White House. Trump was indicted in New York Tuesday on state charges of allegedly falsifying business records. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Trump denies he committed a crime in New York and his lawyers say they will move to have those charges dismissed. Meantime, Stormy Daniels, who is at the center of a hush money payment scheme involving the former president, is speaking out. The ex-adult film star says she would absolutely testify in Trump's criminal case if it goes to trial. Daniels also says that she feels Trump should absolutely face jail time if he's found guilty of, quote, the other things that he has done. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has accepted several luxury trips from Republican mega-donor Harlan Crow. 
That's according to a bombshell report from ProPublica published today. It reads that Justice Thomas and his wife have gone on lavish trips in the U.S. and overseas. ProPublica reports the hospitality was not disclosed on Thomas's public financial filings with the Supreme Court. Gross says he has been friends with Thomas and his wife for more than 30 years, and the trips are no different from the hospitality he has extended to other dear friends. Neither Crow nor the Supreme Court have commented on the matter. Well, coming up, the sun was certainly shining today, and I have it on good authority that we're going to see a bit more of a warm-up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you like today, I think you're going to like the next several days, especially as we go into next week where we're talking temperatures in the mid-70s. We'll talk all about that coming up in the first warm forecast on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Buy anything in the store at our Wesco price and get the second item half off. That's right, buy one, get the second for half price with free white glove delivery and setup this month only at Wesco in Sparta. Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present Our Community Cares. The UWL Planetarium presents Album Encounters, a multimedia light and laser show set to rock music. Friday nights at 8 p.m. Public program Saturday at 1, featuring sky phenomena during April. The Family Nature Walk takes place at the Trempolo National Wildlife Refuge Saturday, April 8th at 10 a.m. Meet at the observation deck. For more information on these events, or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. I see good people. I mean really good, hardworking people working 40 to 60 hours a week, up to 3,000 hours a year, only to break even every month financially. I don't like the word deserve, but I think in this case, you deserve better. You deserve a better monthly picture. You deserve a dignified retirement. Come see me. I can teach you how to get what you deserve. Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Buy anything in the store at our Wesco price and get the second item half off. That's right, buy one, get the second for half price with free white glove delivery and setup this month only at Wesco in Sparta. Stories are told on our Instagram at WKBT News 8. Or you can always find us at news8000.com. Wow, what a gorgeous shot on city cam. You can see the sun is out. A beautiful evening across the Cooley region. Outside right now, we're seeing a temperature of 48 degrees. Feels like 42 out there with winds out of the west northwest at 16 miles per hour. We are seeing a little bit of a gust, uh, gusting as high as 24 miles per hour. Now, the river level right now, it's sitting at 9.22 feet. Here's the forecast of that. 10 feet by the 8th, by the 10th we go to 10.3 feet, 10.8 feet as we go into April uh, 13th. So you can see the action stage uh, right here, the flood stage is at 12 feet. So this is something we're going to keep an eye on as we go into uh, the next several days. Now, we do have a flood warning in effect until Saturday morning. This is for the Black River at Galesville. Flood stage is 12 feet. Right now it's sitting at 11.97 feet. Forecast is about 10 feet for Monday morning. So the river there is starting to recede. So there's a little bit of good news there. Now in terms of precipitation, maybe a small chance for tomorrow night going into early Saturday morning. Wouldn't cancel your plans whatsoever there. Sunday night going into Monday morning, not ruling out a chance as well. Easter Sunday, I think it's going to be A-OK. -okay. We'll get a little bit of a break on Tuesday, then a small chance as we go into next Friday. So here's what's on the menu for tonight. That flooding concern, as I mentioned, is still an issue, especially towards or on the Mississippi. 
find those sunglasses as we go into the next several days and hello 70s oh yeah we've got 70s in the forecast and that's making me think right now that my wife is watching and that honeydew list is just going a mile long because those 70s are in the forecast. So I think I'm gonna be doing a car wash soon. Speaking of 70s, the last time we hit 70 degrees in La Crosse, November 2nd of last year, we hit 76 degrees. And so it's not just for Tuesday, but Wednesday, Thursday, and next Friday, we're gonna see temperatures in the mid 70s. So above normal conditions are in store. As for the radar scan right now, we have a clean sweep across the area. This is going to get a break as we go into the next several days for the most part, except for those stray showers uh, tomorrow night as well as Sunday night going into Monday. High pressure right now is large and in charge. You can see right here what's going on. Uh, again, nothing to talk about in terms of cloud cover. A gorgeous evening is in store. There's that ridge of high pressure I was talking about when we're going to get on the back end of this as we go into uh, the next several days, which is going to allow those temperatures to warm up. Right now we're seeing temperatures in the 60s in Tulsa, upper 50s towards Dallas, Fort Worth. Those 60s and even 50s will start to push its way into the Cooley region as we go into uh, the weekend. So let's go ahead and dive into the forecast as we take a look here at the next several uh, days for starting for tonight. 28 degrees, mostly clear skies, a nice light wind with winds out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's your day planner for tomorrow. How about 52 by the 2 o'clock hour? Double nickels, 55 degrees by the 4 o'clock hour. That trend continues for 6. And then upper 40s by the 8 o'clock hour. And the next 8 days, Ken, look at this. 62 for Saturday, 66 for Easter Sunday, 69 for Monday. And then mid-70s Tuesday through Friday. The good thing about Easter Sunday, I know Bill and Derek and I, we had a conversation with the Easter Bunny. Oh, did you? I did. I said we needed nice weather. And uh, I told him, I said, Easter Bunny, I, uh, this is a true story, Easter mm -hmm. Bunny, not a peep. <laughs> not a peep. Everybody see what he did there? Yeah. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we pay you the big bucks. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Dean, thanks very you much. Bet. Still to come tonight at 5, some Australian otters receive an extra special gift for Easter weekend. 20th annual Early Bird Home Show, lowest prices of the year on 2023 projects. Only at the Board Store Home Improvements, 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. Get started today. Our homes are extensions of who we are. New beginnings, first steps, moments lasting in time. We'll be there. Window World, America's exterior remodeler. Improving homes, changing lives. Hi, have you seen that realtor with all those billboards? Hold my beer. What? Get local, award-winning injury lawyers. Get Nicolay. Papa Murphy's presents How to Change the Way You Pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Right now, get the chicken garlic pizza for just $11.99 at papamurphys.com. The local water experts at Culligan can take care of... Everything but the kitchen sink. Actually, we do that too. Culligan, here for every water worry. Hey golfers, don't miss the golden golf deal at Drugan's Castle Mound. Get a full seven day a week golf membership for only $500 for 2023. Limited $500 memberships are available. So visit the website at drugans.com to purchase this membership or call 526-4144 now before this great deal is done. At Drugan's Country Club, yes, Drugan's. J.D. Power ranked Window World highest in customer satisfaction among window and patio door retailers and number one in price, ordering and delivery, sales staff and service. Schedule your free in-home quote today. E.T.'s backstage at the star-studded Grammy salute to the Beach Boys. Next, E.T. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Otters enjoyed an 
extra special treat today at an Australian zoo. The Perth Zoo Down Under celebrated Easter weekend by giving their otters a special box filled with fish frozen into an Easter egg shape. Zoo officials say the frozen eggs encourage them to use their natural instincts to problem solve and then melt the ice for that tasty reward inside. Now, frozen fish eggs aren't your cup of tea. A new social media trend has people painting potatoes instead of eggs. Farming organization Potatoes USA is supporting this idea by offering tips on how to get the best Easter spud. You can use food coloring or regular paint. And the group also says potatoes less fragile than eggs and are easier for kids to hold. Well, here's a sneak peek at some Easter themed events coming up in the area. This Saturday, Ultra Federal Credit Union is hosting their 51st annual Easter egg hunt at the Onalaska Omni Center. Grounds open at 10 a.m. and participants could win several door prizes, including a grand prize bike in each age category. And also on Saturday, Wuffy and JCI Lacrosse JCs are hosting a doggy egg hunt. The event starts at 1 p.m. and is broken into time slots so each pup can get their fair share of treats. The Easter Bunny will also be making a special guest appearance. All right, Eric's going to be back in with one final check your forecast when we come back. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At By Goff and Rody, that's how we get results. Dr. Mehta knows pain. Oftentimes, I see patients with pain in their knees, their hips, their back, and it's actually coming from their feet. Her suggestion? It's as easy as going into a good feet store. Come in for your free arch support fitting. Life's more rewarding at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. We're the lawn and garden experts, offering the spring supplies you need to build out your dream yard at unbeatable prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $15 gift card with $100 spent on Scott's products. Like Scott's Turf Builder with Halt's Crabgrass Preventer, $79.99 after $10 mail-in rebate. Scott's Weed and Feed, only $69.99 after rebate. And Scott's Lawn Food, just $49.99 after mail-in rebate. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988 24-7. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. It's the Power Up Recliner Sale at Drury's Inn Fountain. Recliners to soothe, relax, and let you escape from the stress of every day. Durability and style come together in an amazing selection of power sofas, sectionals, and recliners. And if it has power, there's even one-year special financing and free delivery. At Drury's, you'll find Lazy Boy, Southern Motion, Palliser, Stressless, and Flex Steel. All the best brands, all on sale. Plus one-year special financing and free delivery. It's the Power Up Sale now at Drury's Inn Fountain. Gary knows golf. You need to have good balance, good support. Where to find that support? Two words, the Good Feet Store. How many words? <laughs> Swing by for your free arch support fitting. I've practiced personal injury law for four years. For 20 years. For 32 years. All I do every day is help injured people get the compensation that they deserve. At Buy Golf and Rody, that's how we get results. One final look at the next eight days, Easter weekend. Double nickel, 55 tomorrow. We go into the mid-60s for Sunday. And then Tuesday through Friday. No, Ken, I think I have some sick days I need to blow. Uh, <laughs> Mid-70s, Tuesday through Friday. Uh, how do I address that? Sorry, boss, I can't come into work just because it's too darn nice out. Yeah, and hopefully the boss man agrees and doubles down by just letting everybody go. Right. <coughs> I'm... <coughs> I start to feel a <coughs> cough coming. A case of the springs? Yep. All right. <laughs> Man's going places. He's got the right idea. We'll see you at six.